Tiger Rock Nation, here we go. It is time for Back to the Basics week number two. So each week we're trying to focus on a hand technique and a foot technique. So this week our foot technique is actually going to be a Back to the Basics stance. There are five fundamental stances that every white belt learns that goes through all of the ranks. Really quick, those stances would be our attention stance, our ready stance, our base stance, our sparring stance, and then our power stance. The one we're gonna to detail today is our power stance. The first three moves of your form as a white belt, yellow belt, all the way up, those first three moves are all power stances. Then there's a power stance as the last move in the green belt section, or the next to last moves of the green belt section. There's power stances in the red belt and brown belt sections. There's power stances in the black belt section. So it's really important that we understand. In a power stance, my feet are shoulder width apart, one leg steps out, my knee bends to where I can't see my toes, and my back leg is completely straight. Hips, feet, shoulders, all forward. In our form, the very first move we do is a power stance, but it's at an angle 90 degrees to the left. So when I do that, I just don't step over. I don't step over and keep my knee bent. I have to step over and get all 10 toes, shoulder width, 90 degrees from where I started. The next move, I come back, I step 180 degrees the other way into a power stance. Shoulder width, toes, shoulders, hips, everything that direction. The third stance, also a power stance, comes forward, shoulder width, back leg locked. Okay, here's what we're seeing in class a lot. Back leg slightly bent. Straight it out. Front leg not bent. It has to be bent. One leg is bent, one leg is straight, hips and shoulders, or it's stepping out and it's not shoulder width, therefore my hips can't turn all the way to the front, and it's really not a power stance, it's not as powerful as it would be if it's all squared up. So if this think about our power stances, a good drill to do with that is just literally power stance, power stance, power stance. Step back, do it again. Power stance, power stance, together, power stance, knee bend. Uh, in the green belt section, when we go front kick, we'll land power stance, step power stance, nail those stances. In the uh, brown and red belt section, after your jump front kick, land twin punch, that's a power stance, nice and strong before you go into your knife hand strike. So there's some applicable places for that power stance. All right, team, here we go. Our hand technique of the week is gonna be an outer form block, which is also called a middle block. So in our form, uh, the, in the section where we go twin low block, side kick, knife hand, knife hand, this next move, hugs on top, palm in, as we talked last week, so that it can twist at the last second. The other hand is palm out, so it can twist back. So as I have my knife hand out, this hand's on top, this one on bottom, and I block. The block does not go past my shoulder width, and it's also right at eye level. It's not higher or lower. Right at eye level, right at shoulder width. So if I turn toward the camera, it shouldn't come over here. Certainly it's past my face because it cleared something coming at my face. Block. So that's why we don't need to go over here with it. That's an outer form block or also called a middle block. In the black belt section of the form, where we step together, knife hand low block, twist kick, low block, outer form block. This one I'm doing out of a back stance, sparring stance. Same idea, not past my shoulder, not higher than eye level. Right at eye level as I perform that block. Other hands pull back nice and tight, shoulder blades squeezing together. So just detail, outer form, middle block, five times with one side, five with the other. You can do it even as you're practicing some of your power stances. And it's a good way to practice and take both things and combine them together this week. Have fun. Back to the basics. Week two.